a luxury pooch for royalty, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel spent most days warming the laps of nobility. The royals made them snooze in their beds to attract fleas, sparing their masters diseases like the plague. Today, they're the quintessential lapdog. It would be like your idea of the perfect mate. Sweet, kind, gentle, affectionate, loving. If you're a fan of kissing and beautiful faces, the King Charles is definitely the dog for you. Today's Cavalier King Charles Spaniel descends from small toy spaniels like the pug and the Japanese chin. He was brought to Scotland from continental Europe in the 1500s, where he became a fashionable lapdog for the noble class. King Charles II was a huge fan and lent his name to the breed. King Charles never went anywhere without his two or three little spaniels. When the monarchy fell, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel's popularity fell with it, and the breed almost became extinct. The gentle, melting expression of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is an important breed characteristic, often highlighted by their large, dark brown eyes. The coat is silky with a slight wave and feathering on the ears, chest, legs, tail, and feet. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels come in four colors, Prince Charles or tricolor, King Charles or black and tan, ruby or rich mahogany, and the fourth and most popular color, Blenheim, which is chestnut and white. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is most notably known for its sweet, gentle, and loving temperament. A wonderful dog, very happy-go-lucky, very loving. They just tend to be the type of dog who's just, you know, nice to everyone. Nicknamed the love sponge of dogs, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels love people and need loads of companionship. They make an excellent companion for almost any dog lover and are known to be wonderful with children. Hi. Kids love these dogs and these dogs love kids. It's very important to make sure that your kids learn to be gentle with this dog because this is a meekly framed animal. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels can live happily just about anywhere. They need a daily walk and should be taken inside a cool place during very warm conditions. These lovely and fearless dogs want to please, so they're typically a breeze to train. Yes, good job. They retain information for a long time. Once they learn once, they know exactly what's up. Finish! Good job! Cavaliers live on average 9 to 14 years and are prone to mitral valve heart disease, the leading cause of death in the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The Cavalier is 20 times more likely to get this disease than any other breed. It's a deterioration of the heart's mitral valve, one of the four sets of valves in a dog's heart. When it strikes, the mitral valve atrophies. The valve doesn't fully close after each pumping action, allowing blood to flow backwards from the ventricle into the atrium. This can lead to valve collapse and ultimately congestive heart failure. So you need to make sure that both the mom and dad did not have heart problems. The Cavalier requires regular grooming. Special attention should be paid to the feathered hair on the ears. It's prone to matting and tangling. You want to make sure that they're clean and tidy because it's such a beautiful dog. Who wants to look at a dirty King Charles Cavalier? Good job. So in general, the Cavalier King Charles is a dog who will happily live almost anywhere. They're prone to several heart problems. Daily brushing is recommended. Training is a cinch. And they're tops for every type of dog lover, young or old.